Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. So we're picking back up uh, shortly after the last episode. It's like recording extravaganza. Um, we need to head out. I need to grab this. I did empty out most of my stuff. The satchel's cleared out. I need to upgrade this. But, um, I don't really feel like I need to grab every single thing. And, yeah, um, I'm mainly looking for majestic ingots. That needs to get dropped. Oh, well. I'm mainly looking for majestic ingots. Um, we have completed some quests. We'll look at those later. Um, it's primarily from the the cooking tab because I've been making a lot of seeds and there's quests in there for things like lettuce and uh, tomatoes and different things. And it requires that you get, uh, I think it's eight seeds per, and then you have to get like 40 of the crop. Well, usually the crops I've got, it's the seeds that I, I, you know, I hadn't had. But... Um, and now that I'm making all those seeds with, like, different things, I've been actually unlocking quite a few of the quests, so. And I'm actually, I'm kind of curious to see how far that goes, because um, for the pack, you know, for the pack I'm working on, I had, I had I went through and added, like, all the Pam seeds and stuff, and, I mean, there's just a massive amount, especially when you start adding them into quests. And with this pack, the quests are, the quests are laid out, like, you know, tomato and tomato seeds, and garlic and garlic seeds and stuff like that so i'm curious to see how big it gets because like i've got i've got them laid out and there's like you have to collect like i can't remember it's like eight or ten seeds for each quest and it still ends up being like 10 quests or something it's like massive um you know i've done back on uh, enigmatica i did a a five a document a google document um that I'd shared on my discord that had like a list. Cause I'm, I'm like a completionist usually. And I want to get like all the seeds planted and all the things. And I had a list of all the different seeds. There's the dragon. I don't know where it's nest is, but I'm going to kill it. Well, let's go down here. We're far enough away. It's not going to, it doesn't seem like it's going to aggro. It just kind of like hangs out and lets me kill it. Not to mention, I love this bow. Oh, it's mad. <laughs> it's very, very... Oh, it's mad at that llama. Okay, it's dead. Alright. I'm going to go down there. And loot this guy. You don't want to leave these bodies too long. Oh, these little guys, Lily Lurkers from Primitive Mobs. Um, you don't want to leave these bodies lying there for too long, usually. I still have to find its nest, though. This is a fire dragon, though, so it's not going to be... I thought the dragon was on top of that ice mountain. It's not going to be... Um, this is a stage three. But fire dragons are usually going to be on these plains somewhere. We should have to find where... And there's some sort of a tower. Oh, and there's some kind of little spawner building over there. That looks like a roguelike dungeon. Yeah, that's a roguelike dungeon. Um. Oh, it's a pig. I was like, is that another dragon? Nope. Zombie villagers. We'll go ahead and kill that. And, okay, I don't think there's any loot. No. Okay. Um, I gotta run around, I gotta find where that dragon's lair is, now that it's dead. So we can see what kind of treasures it, it was protecting. Let's head off maybe in this direction. I'm still looking for that dragon nest. Oh, there's one of the, uh, the Thalmcraft dungeons right here. So we'll go ahead and... I know it's dark. I'm terrible about never carrying torches with me, so... All right, it's weak blood orb <laughs> out of there. Um, okay, I'm going to leave all that stuff. I'm not worried about that stuff. But I will take that, and then if we find better, we'll just uh, we'll just trade it out. So, like, I'm actually starting to wonder if there is, in fact, a fire dragon nest. <laughs> or if he's just a liar and there's not one. Maybe on the other side of the mountain. I guess I really don't have to worry about that much. It's just like... I've already killed the dragons, so. I know dragons, if I recall, dragons are buffed up in this pack. 
so they do quite a bit of damage and have a lot of health and stuff like that. But, uh, of course, if you range them down, they're, you know, ranged, ranged combat in Minecraft is generally makes everything pretty trivial. But, uh, especially if you can get a really long range, you know, like what we've been doing with the dragons, so. Um, there's some kind of cobblestone on the side of this mountain, which makes me think that maybe this is a dungeon? Because I know underground biomes. Oh, maybe not. No, oh, I guess not. Okay. I know underground biomes can, uh, it can replace the dungeon stone with its stone, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not really seeing a dragon nest. Maybe I'll find it one day. Or maybe it spawned without a dragon nest. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I don't have boots on. I forgot. I left those. I was repairing them. And I left them. <laughs> I left them back at the base. But uh, you know what I could do? I could just whip up. Oh, dragon armor is a whole lot. I was about to make some boots. But uh, dragon armor is a bit more expensive. Okay. Well, scratch that. I don't, I don't even have the crafting table needed for that. I think we could probably craft one. I don't know. I think that's like... Uh, oh, no. I think it's actually the next tier. But um, Okay. I see an astral sorcery thing over here. I'd like to check that out. And there's uh, some kind of a building over there. I'm not sure what that is. That was lucky. Uh, Waddle D plush. That. Another circus baby. There's a gold coin. Gold ingots. Lettuce I've already got. Um, I am going to take the banana split, just in case I run out of food. I can always throw it down if need be. Um, i tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and just grab this. These plushes, they're not super common, so if I get duplicates... Of course, I've already got a uh, couple duplicates, or a couple of the circus baby plushes. Oh, this is like a little mine. Okay. That's a roguelike dungeon. It's one of the brick ones, though. I don't know. Nah, I'm not going to worry about mining it all down because we're going to be automating clay soon enough. So, This is another one of those dinky dungeons that we checked out like last episode. That <laughs> It had a lot of tr uh, chests in it, but like no treasure. It was all just like junk. Um, this is... Ooh. Zombie spawner. And the creepy basement. There we go. Okay, it looks like there's a whole lot of chests here, though. I'm actually kind of curious if there's anything. No, it's just more pumpkins. Okay, what do we got? Fuel efficiency... Okay, this one is all pretty much junk, junk, junk. Let's head upstairs. Uh, platinum ingot, I'll take that. Croissant, we haven't ate that before. And uh, I don't know what that is, but we're going to take it. We'll get into that mod before too long. Um, I am really excited for it because it's a lot like mine cam, but we don't have the machines and stuff that we need to... Uh, to really make use of that at the moment. Okay, right down there is a spider, one of those spider trees from Thumbcraft. Oh my gosh! <laughs> my worst nightmare right there. I hate cave spiders, so... Whoa, big zombie. Uh, so ones that spawn... I wonder what that light is. I'll have to check that out. It's a, it's a mama spider that spawns. Hey, I got a spawn cave spider. Interesting. Oh my gosh. Red orchid. I'll take it. Hey. <sighs> okay, anyways. We have aluminum. We got silver plates. Neutronium. I'm going to take that. Sounds cool. Black rune, we'll take that. Alright. And I'm going to keep the spawn uh, the spawn cave spider as well. I like hang it up as like a plaque. Oh, hey! We've gained a heart. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so... Right over here, there's... Uh, oh, there's a pixie hovel right over there. 
Uh, what do we got here? Demon Plate. Spectral Trap. There's Powered Steel Rail. Uh, some Steel Rails. I'm going to take those because I'm actually going to be changing stuff over to those soon. Um, I'm going to take the Mana Steel. And yeah, I'm going to leave the rest of that. These long trips without like making the extra utilities like Ender Pouch thing or... Uh, oh, it's just lava. Cool. Awesome. That was a big waste of my time. I'll outrun you, Creeper. Hey! <laughs> I love this hook shot, by the way. It's it's so much fun. Another one of those weird spawn things. Um, there's little boats out here. I don't think these actually have anything on them. Um, oh, they do have a chest. With uh, nothing. Broken trade ships may carry this. Oh, this is from uh, Zoestria Biomes. Okay, maybe we should take that because I know this. I saw a use for it. I think, okay, it's just making the TNT from Zoestria Biomes. But still, I want to grab it because it's not a common thing. I don't actually think it's even craftable. No, it's not It's not craftable. So, Oh, obtained from coal products. Oh, that's actually what you need. Nitric acid and tolol. Tol tol or whatever. <laughs> okay, there's like a circus tent over here. So we're going to check that out. It looks like it's spawning mobs, so... Ah! You cannot hide. And there's a whole lot of nothing inside. I kind of wonder if Twilight Forest isn't going to be a good place to uh, get Majestic Ingots too, because if all the... Um, if all the dungeons there have a chance to give majestic ingots, then uh, normally there's a spawner in those, I thought. Um, but if all the dungeons have a chance to give majestic ingots, then there is going to be a lot of sources. Because you can, like, pretty much non-stop be opening treasure chests in the Twilight Forest. Which we'll be going in there before long. I don't want to go in there right now because I kind of had my feel on uh, roguelike adventures and dungeons. Um, Twilight Forest, of course, is a really fun mod, but I like it more for building, I think, than exploring at this point. I've been through it so many times, so we will go through it before long, but not just yet. I know we need to go through it for some Batania stuff, but... Okay, we got another one of these Astral Sorcery things. Uh, what do we got here? I'm going to take that Constellation Piper. We've got a couple Tacos. Mana Steel, Copper Coin. Okay. I'll take those things. Okay, and we've got another one of these. I'm actually going to snag the Sea Lantern because the Prismarine Crystals can be useful. Um, Emerald, Gold Coin, Aquamarine. I'll take the Constellation Paper. I think I've got plenty of Constellation Paper for later, but I still find myself wanting to pick it all up. So I've actually amassed quite a bit. I think, but what's this? Bare lands. Okay, there's one of the acclimators. I think, yeah, this is a Zoestria biome. All right, what do we got here? Yellow parrot statue. Steel plates, a Meredith crystal. I'm gonna take this Tiberium. I'm gonna take this cheeseburger and this hamburger. These emeralds. And I'll take the steel plates. Whatever. Okay, I climbed up to this place. This is one of those Zoestria forested canyon plateaus. Um, there's a dragon over there, and it looks like an astral sorcery tower. I don't know, on the map it looks like there's just like a lot of stuff over here. So I want to check this out. The only thing is... It looks like I'm going to have to get kind of close to this dragon to be able to get a shot on it. Let's try from here. Just to get it active, maybe. Okay. He's just hanging out, letting me shoot him. Easy as pie. Of course, I'm... A lot of my arrows, I'm not doing as much damage to this one because I'm not getting... Now, uh, this bow has multi-shot four, so it, it actually hits... Or shoots a whole lot of arrows. 
per shot. Yeah. It's a little bit more dangerous here, but that's okay. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything. Well, maybe. There we go. Okay, so what all did we get from this guy? It's another stage three. I haven't found anything but stage threes, actually. They've all been stage three. Okay, yeah, there is a uh, astral shrine here. And I'm going to take that. Always the last one. Hey, Majestic Ingot. I'll take it. Waddle D plush. So we still need one more Majestic Ingot, though. All right, and then there's another Astral Shrine over here. Okay, what do we got? Two Waddle D plushes. <laughs> uh, banana Split, a couple Aquamarine, Constellation Paper. I really don't need all this Constellation Paper. I just still keep collecting it for some reason. Go ahead and grab these foods. I did find some seaweed seeds, which that's one that we don't have, so that's cool. Um, Alright, so... Then we have the dragon place. We've got platinum ingot. I'll take that. Um, Manuscript pages. I guess I should go ahead and grab some of those. Because we will use them later on. I'm going to grab that obsidian too, because I don't like... Mining it, usually. We actually got quite a bit of obsidian last episode, so. I wonder if majestic ingots can come from these. Maybe the lower, um, like the underground dragon layers. Perhaps. Because there's stronger dragons in there. Usually a whole lot better treasure, usually. So, who knows. Okay, I think that's everything from this one. And there's no boots around here, is there? <laughs> I don't think I saw any boots. I could totally go for like a pair of boots though, till I get back to the base. I don't want to, I really don't want to break my armor, but I did, I did do a little bit of repairing. Like the helmet you'll notice has higher dur durability than it did um, last episode. Like I've noticed that lava, it doesn't generate super fast. We need to upgrade the power that's going into that building, but uh, it does generate enough so that you come back and it's like, oh, I've got, you know, a decent amount of durability added back to my stuff. We need to upgrade to like maybe the diamond anvil or something like that. Or the evil craft chest or uh, something, you know, something to that effect. We will. I should have made a tool from blood magic. We'll make, we'll make some blood magic stuff here soon. Alright, so this, I think, yeah, these are kind of like the... They're kind of like jungle temples, sort of. Sort of. Um... Just a whole lot smaller. Let me drop all of this stuff in there. And let's see what we... Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Just a little bit of chlorine and horse armor. So, I don't want that. Bowman Urarar. What is this guy? Oh, it's a villager. It's one of those traitors. Um, <laughs> look at that creeper. He's like zooming over here. All right, what do you have? A whole lot of junk. Even though I could... 10, 10 gold per emerald. That is not bad at all. I'm going to take all of them. We made the advancement. What a deal. Okay. That was... A, that I will take it. <laughs> I will definitely take it. Because that was, in fact, a deal. I guess I really should be using the Sentient Sword some... Uh, for combat, because even though we're going to be automating wheels soon, I'm still going to need some wheel. So it would be very useful. Oh my gosh. I like this place. This grassy marshland. This is, uh, I think this is a Zoestria biome too. But this is pretty cool. 
Oh, what's that? What in the world is this? Like, I was just standing there, I was looking for food, and it just pops into view. <laughs> what is this? Oh, man, it's a big... It looks like a... Oh, wow! What is this thing? Okay, I'm going to screenshot this. This is cool. It's like the Twilight Forest... Uh structure that never has anything in it except it's probably going to have stuff in it i wonder what this is i found what we're doing today <laughs> is there a, like a proper entrance to this place or i actually have no clue whatsoever as to what mod adds this i don't know if it's uh you know from Zoestria or something or what this is but this is pretty cool this is pretty cool um whoa <laughs> i see mob spawners let's do this whoa it's like the mushroom army here get me out of there Somebody is trying to get over here. Okay, everything's lit up. And of course, they all have names. They're all shroom zombies. Uh oh, we got more coming from somewhere's about. go ahead and mark this place put a torch right there and okay all right one second here let me there's like shroom chests mushrooms a plenty um name tags with shroom zombie on them um mushrooms with sharpness three on them i want to keep those that's kind of cool um and then there's other mushrooms of sharpness three. Green rune. I don't know what mod adds this, but it's so cool. Inferium plates. A whole lot more mushrooms of sharpness. I'm gonna grab those. Oh, there's a proper door. Oh, this just leads over there. Somebody's doing some work on some doors. <laughs> Okay, is there another door? I don't see one. I may come back and, uh, that's a shroom zombie spawner. So I may come back and... And, Oh my gosh. This is one nasty, nasty room. <laughs> okay, spider spawner down. Shroom zombie spawner down. And there we go. Okay. Oh, there's... I wonder where this goes. Aha! I bet you if I break this open... Oh, that one don't connect. But, um... Yeah, see, this will connect to the floor above it. Oh, gosh. So many mobs.
Yeah, I think going up the floors that way might be the best route. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, and then there's, yeah, there's stairs or ladder here. Okay, that one just goes down. I'm going to, I'm going to check the, the lower floor. Wow, there's just so much crap everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, was there any ladders in this room? Hey. Yeah, they're coming from... Oh, it's a little hidden room right here. Oh, nifty. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. Oh, and it, it automatically equipped the shroom boots. Okay. We'll wear those. That's fine. Wait, is this... Uh... Nah. There's stairs here that go down. To what? I don't know. It's really overgrown down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I have released the horde. I have released it. This is amazing. This is just amazing. I love it. I love it. I don't know if this is added or like... Or what? Oh, there's... Okay, there's gonna be a spawner up here, right? Yeah. Cool. Let's bust that. Nether Quartz Plates. Um, gentle Frame. I should probably take these torches. And I should probably dump off some of this stuff and I can always come back here once I make like uh... <laughs> it goes down even farther are you crazy uh, what okay I don't know if we should go up I mean we've got a floor up there that we haven't even checked the loot on oh my gosh Okay, and this is upstairs. I guess they were all just climbing the ladder. I mean, there's tons of plates and stuff. 